okay here we go part b guys so the potter aims to reduce the proportion of pots which break in the kiln by increasing the size of the batch fired he now fires pots in batches of 50 he then chooses a batch at random and discovers that there are six pots which broke whilst being fired in the kiln okay just to make a quick note here yeah, from the previous question we had a binomial distribution of of 25 batches of 25 with a actual proportion of 20 percent which he believed would break so we can inst instantly state that now the distribution changed to uh for n equals 50 because now there are 50 batches and the proportion what well, would actually still be 20 percent it's not going to be six out of 50 why because this is how much he actually discovers so this is not a rate this is a rate okay this is how much he actually discovers which is something different that's that's going to be probability of finding if this falls in line so now let's have a look so test at the five percent levels of significance whether or not there is evidence that increasing the number of pots in a batch has reduced the percentage of pots that break whilst being fired in the kiln just to recap six over fifty is, is the same as twelve percent so technically it's under 20 percent so we need to check if this statement is, is actually true now first things first we need to lay down our hypothesis so we can say firstly that the initial hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis we can say that the probability according to our binomial distribution that the, the pots are expected to break were 20 percent however with the new information we found out that it could be 12 percent so we're going to test whether or not the probability that actually breaks is under 20 percent so here we go that's all we do the figure is always the same you're just testing whether this is true or actually less than that that's all it is and now to confirm this we need to test the values they assumed which was six so we're going to follow this lead the h1 with the same direction this means the property that x is less than or equal six and then we just well refer to the binomial distribution with, with the with, with n equals 50. anyway guys so let's whip out the tables and let's have a look so going to n equals 50 which is down so keep going down your tables until you find the right proportions so here we go n equals 50 and we're looking at 20 percent so let's change to red okay so when n equals six so when x equals six so this would be probability x is less than equal six we should get exactly 0 0.1034 okay let's write this down so 0 0.1034 now what does this tell us well we only firstly reject the null hypothesis if the p-value the probability is less than five percent if this is the case this is just like a general like rule of thumb then we reject the null hypothesis okay so in this case this one is not less than five percent so we can say there is insufficient evidence or there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis so what does this actually tell us so if we can't reject it if there's ins insufficient evidence to actually reject it that means we're going to accept it so we're going to assume that the property remains constant at 20 percent so we have to agree with the potter's belief so that's what it really means so ultimately we can say that there is there is a no there is no reason to to assume the new beliefs so we can say whether or not there's evidence that increase in number of pots and the batches reduce so all we do is just pretty much say there is no evidence and then copying that statement again so there is no evidence that increase in known post has reduced the percentage of pots and that's it that break so copy all of this but replace it with the word no evidence and we should be good and just checking the mark scheme it always helps there's various other rules you could take so they say no evidence that increasing the batch size has reduced the percentage of broken pots so this is one way of writing it or you could even say evidence that there is no change in other words